What's going on there, monkeys? Welcome to the next episode of a Planet Zoo series here at Coaster Monkey Studios, where we are playing Planet Zoo in career mode. And if this is your first time here, do not forget to like and subscribe and hit that wonderful little bell notification so you can uh, get notified as to when we're posting more Planet 2 videos. And if you are returning, well, welcome back. In this episode, we are going to call it episode six and a half uh, because we're going to finish up our bison, American bison habitat, and we are going to embellish upon that area just a little bit in preparation for our next habitat. So without further ado, let's get on into it. All right, guys, here we are. Back in our fun little zoo that we're trying to create to beat this one simple challenge. It's so complicated. Oh my goodness. All right, so after the last episode, which is a complete disaster, uh, we've got ourselves sorted out some here. So, I don't know if you guys, if you got a chance to catch it, this whole fence wasn't here and the bison got away and then we didn't have any money and now all of a sudden the, the, the zoo's doing great. We got $15,000. It all happened in a matter of minutes. Don't know how, but we got all this money. So I left a, quite a few things open and, and undone. So we're going to get that finished. Where do we finish off last time? So we created this biome here. We put up this wall to keep the bison in. We're going to take the wall out again. And I'm going to test the theory of putting the fence in the water. But low down. So like they can't escape. So we're going to cross our fingers and hope that works. I think they might keep trying to escape into the water though. I'm not sure. We're going to test it. And then we're going to build our pier that comes out here. Now people are complaining they can't see the bison. So what I'm thinking is... Creating some type of a thing here in the corner where this could be like a pier and we'll put food up here. This will be another food outlet up here. And you'll overlook this habitat in this direction, this habitat in this direction, which will be the next habitat we're going to do. And my thought process is, is that eventually we're going to get up here. And I want this to be a viewing point too for the bison. So you can look down and kind of see what's going on there. We'll get rid of this makeshift. Uh, habitat or I'm sorry uh, the shelter there so we get better viewing of the bison I think from this angle because it is a bit obstructive but uh, yeah we're gonna we're gonna try and test all those theories but first guess what we've got a pregnant bison oh no we don't have a pregnant bison <gasps> oh no they made it but they're not pregnant I was excited. Oh, it's okay, Waynette. I'm gonna hit you for that name and Tanner. It's okay, mm -hmm. guys. It's okay. Next time. Let's get you some more toys though. This is what I think we need. I think we need more toys. Let's check on enrichment for you. We need food enrichment. Oh, we got some some of these, these uh, food ball thingies that we can toss in. And they'll play with these all around the, the, the window glass here. Which is fun. That's nice. Okay, we'll get those in there. Enrichment should have gone up. Yeah, enrichment is good. All right, let's check. Let's check their food. I want to make sure mm. all this looks good. The adult population is low, but we're looking to fix that. So don't stress yet. But I need to check on food for these guys. Yeah, we've already got grade two food quality. I've got a vet working on it for them. I can't hire more people yet. That's just what it is. You know, uh, it's what we're running into. But anyway, okay, so let's let's get the move on here. We're gonna get some stuff happening. Cross your fingers. Let's hope I don't absolutely destroy, destroy the zoo yet again. But uh, yeah, we're gonna get into finishing up this habitat and I'll catch you right after the speed build. Catch you in a bit.
All right, so. Whew. That felt like a lot, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it completely did. But uh, yeah, I think it worked out. We're going to just make a little adjustment here really fast. I kind of want that to look like that. I hope the dude doesn't, they don't escape or try to escape. But yes, yeah, so I wanted it to look like this. I think it worked out really well. Um, for the most part, I noticed we need some education here. So we'll do that as well for our guest assistances. Do that, we'll do that. Uh, American Bison. All right, let's go back to the speaker. Let's make you loud. And then we're gonna sink you down into the ground. Okay. Which I'm totally cool about all of this. Look at how great that looks, right? Solid. I'm gonna have to work on lighting. I don't like how this looks from behind. So I'm gonna probably throw some greenery or something like foliage. Maybe we'll take a tree. Let's do that. Again, not really stressing too much about being perfect. Just trying to make it through this scenario because Holy for Jesus. It's a lot tougher than than you would think it would be to run a zoo. Yeah, I just said that. <laughs> but I think, yeah, because this will look like they're on stilts, which is fine. There's greenery everywhere. Just cover it up. Look, my trees. Yeah, that's fine. And then we'll worry about the other side when we're done. But I think it came out okay. I'm not hating on it. I'm not loving it. But, I mean, it serves its purpose for the most part. Um, I want to do... Let's do here. I want to do a soda machine. I don't have money. I don't even have money. I just had thousands of dollars. 17 to be precise. Wow, that costs a lot of money, huh? All right, well... We're at a standstill again. Let's check on our preggers. Let's see if she's... Is she preggers? Is she preggers? Nope, she's not preggers yet. But we'll see. We will see. They're at 93% welfare. That's so good. Coverage is low. It's too high. Hey, look at that. Well, I mean, really not, though. It's only reading it as coverage being too high. So what if I... Got rid of one of the trees. Not that one. <laughs> I like that one. Let's do that. Let's see how's the coverage now. It's coverage good. Coverage is still too high. But I don't want to get rid of the trees in the middle. I like the trees in the middle. No, see, coverage is fine. We're going to keep it as is. I'm okay with it. Your world welfare is good. Dog population is still low. Maybe we get you a couple more in here. Whoa, hello. Forgot about that. Let's get a couple more bison. Two more. American bison. Let's get as youngies, 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 youngies. What are we looking at here? No, you are all yellow. Nope. Nope. There we go. Ten years. Forty-two credits. Good. Another male. No! Darn it. Can't have more than one male. See? We've got to be mindful of that stuff. Up to one male and 14 females. So we've got to fix this now. Darn it. Let's go to the zoo. Trade Center, release to the wild, that was a waste, womp womp, alright, only females, alright, let's do Shonita and Verli, I mean they're here, they're the only two females available, let's just get them, alright, because I also want to, no, we've got to quarantine girls first, because I'm not getting sick animals everywhere, that's the last thing I need. All right, delivery schedule done. All right. I think we're going to need another food jamming. So let's duplicate you. Let's duplicate you back over here. Because I don't need you like over in the front. Let's do another water thing too. Duplicate you there. Okay. What do we got here? Low on cash. I know. I'm trying to make it happen here, kids. I'm trying to make that bank happen. Let's check on our grizzlies. Where's my little? Where's my little grizzly? Okay, you are a juvenile two years. Now, when do you get old? You go into adulthood, not for a while, which is great. Okay, you stay a baby. I'm happy you being a baby. Mom and dad, how we doing? Mom and dad are good. Okay. <gasps> oh, hiccup, excuse me. 
They're good. Okay, now let's check on our timber walls. Greens across the board. What was that red? Oh, we need more toy enrichment for our timber wolves. Timber wolf. Oh, we've got some fun stuff for you now. Okay, regular toy enrichment. What's a regular toy enrichment first? Let's do just a, oh, we're gonna do a bunch of stuff. Because you guys are adorable. Blood scented mark enrichment toy. A chew toy. Just hooking you up, kids. It's toys for days. Yeah, I think you'll be happy with that for now. Right? And then boom, boom. How are we doing here? You're almost elderly, Senate. Very upset about that. What is this? Had offspring. Yes, you did. And you are far from being elderly, which is great. Plants coverage. It's good, good, good. Now, where's the pup pup? Where's the little pup pup? There you are. Ah, oh, it's so cute, Emily. All right. We're good, 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 good. We're doing great here. Bonding status. No one yet. That's okay. Whoa, what is this? That's interesting. Oh, because I moved that. So I had to move this again because I had no power. As you guys saw. So, yeah, we're just going to do that. Can you tell I'm over this this, this zoo already? <laughs> it's a little frustrating, not going to lie. It was a little frustrating at a point there. Um, all right, 500. All right, so I want to do two of these jammies. I'm just going to toss these here for quick grabs. We'll do a nice little, let's do this setup here. Duplicate you there. All right, that's cute, I think. Yeah, that works. Maybe we raise the tree, because the tree's a little low. Yeah, that, that's good. All right, it gives us a look. Perfect, all right. Okay, 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 okay. We've got all this fun stuff for these guys. They're happy, let's check this. All right, quarantine passed, I'm ready to leave. So let's get these two guys into our bison habitat. Whoa, and it's dark. So odd. Um, all right, what do we got here? Quarantine pass, yes, we're moving you already. Low on cash, yes, we know. It's a lot of balancing in this game, and I feel like I feel like we're stretching a little thin here. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit back for a minute. We're gonna get our bison in here. I'm gonna wait a couple minutes, uh, try and build up some cash, and then we're gonna finish off this little area over here and just call that one a day. So check you guys right after this quick clip. All right, so. We made back about $5,400 uh, and in the time that we clipped. And I'm pretty pleased with where we are right now, I think. this We had to put down some education boards. So we did that, which was easy peasy. And I think what we're going to end up doing now is we're going to just do a quick build here of this area. We'll put up a fence here, I think, and then close this off.
All right, so we just built that little habitat there. That was fun. Man, the mechanics in this game are so odd. They just do whatever they want sometimes. Maybe I'm just being frustrated because I've been playing this game all day and I'm like, ah, my God. Okay, so let's get back to this, this little habitat here. So we wanted to add more animals, right? So what I've got, I've got Tanner. I've got no Preggers, none of these guys, huh? Interesting. All right. Well, I wanted to add another animal here and let's check our let's check our sub. So American buffalo, inter pronghorn antelopes. They're from North America. So let's see if we could find the pronghorn antelope. We'll cancel this out. We can go to pronghorn. Right. Pronghorn antelope, and there are none in our zoo. Okay, well, this is the only, the only one, the only one we would have been able to put here with the bison. So it looks like the bison's gonna have its own habitat. <sighs> okay, so what we're gonna do is we'll wrap up this episode with a build out of a bison structure here for them. I mean, maybe, I don't know. I'm on the fence. I've, look, I've got nine grand. Should we just do a mini, maybe we get to exhibit. Let's see, let's see. Hold on, what do we have to do next? We need two exhibit species in the zoo. Okay, we can do this quick. This is quick and easy. The exhibit species. We can actually put them right in the space where we had the research center. Because we had to move the research center. And this is super easy to do. So you can come here, click on exhibit animals, close this, and you've got these exhibit set up. Well, exhibit things are expensive. Oh my god. Okay. There we go. And we can just as easily look at this. And it'll hit all four sides if we hit it right. Perfect. Boom. Now this will give us two exhibit animals. Now we can save money by deleting these things and get some money back for those two. And then this is going to be really easy. So view exhibit animal market. Now let's see. Do we want to do that snake? Right? What was there? There was a snake. A North American snake. Was it North American? It wasn't the yellow anaconda. It was... Hold on. Boa constrictor. Giant forest. Gila monster. I don't want any of these bugs. No, I guess we, we have a very limited amount. So let's just, let's just go to town here. Uh, and get some fun. Oh, there's a gold star one. We'll do a gold star one. We'll adopt you and we'll adopt a gold star. We'll do reptiles only. Well, let's see if we can get another gold star reptile. <gasps> a gold star Gila monster. Look at that. Boom. Or gold. You know what I mean. So let's go to the exhibit trading. Let's go here. Let's get these two guys sent to. Oh, can't do them together. Gotta do them separately. Alright, so send to zoo. Boom. Sent to zoo. Boom. We just fulfilled. How easy was that? We fulfilled that really quickly. Now we just got to come in here. We've got to get these guys up to par. So welfare. The exhibit welfare. So we've got to change his temperature. The snake's temperature in the... Exhibit. The temperature and the humidity are low. So we've got to increase that. So humidity is now good. Temperature is still a little low. Let's increase that. Okay. Layout is a little flat, so we need to we need to do some research. You reckon bison? Good, because now we need to research. So we'll research you, all right? And then we'll leave you as is for that back window. We don't need, right? So what back window is that? Let's see. No. Yeah, there we are. Let's do a 3D facade. In the back. I like the 3D facades the best, personally. Right, you're good. Now we need to come over here. 
Gila monster. We need to get you to there. And we need to get you to there. Low humidity. While that's doing that, let's work on the back window for a 3D facade. And we won't do any enrichment yet. This went too far down. You're not far up enough. There we go. All right, so we got two new exhibit thingies in here, which is cool. Are you connected? This is where, so now we're not connected. <gasps> oh my god, why are you not connected here? No, no, undo. Oh, I think we connected there. Eh. Okay, let's see if I can move you back. Will you connect then? You connect only on the sides. Oh, seriously, guys? This is nuts. What if I just had it on the sides like that, though, and we did like an exit? No. No, it looks better here. It connects enough. I mean, I don't love it, but it connects enough. That's where we're at. All right. So we added two more animals, uh, a reptiles, I should say. Uh, we've got our bison. They're happy. We've got our baby. Wow, the camera just went nuts. We've got our baby timber wolf. We've got our baby grizzly. Hopefully we'll get some baby bisons. Uh, and that's where we stand right now. Thanks so much for joining this episode, guys, of Coaster Monkey Studios playing Planet Zoo. It has been interesting. This scenario has just been aggressive. Uh, but yeah, catch you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for joining. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Ciao.